Hello everybody, it's me. I am back, your boy, your bald-headed dude. <gasps> Kami Boob, Fancy Lube, Namey Noob, Cherry Cube, Scrappy Tube, you're one and only Yami Noob. I definitely stole some of those from the comments. Thank you for sharing with me and you're welcome for me using them. Today, we're gonna be talking about a certain brand that I just kind of favor, it's Ducati. And it's not just about Ducati, but their weird love-hate relationship and obsession with the V4 engine. I mean, come on you two, either get a room or break it up. First, you want the world to accept you for producing motorcycles, 24 years of singles, is that a bad relationship streak? Then you go on to move to a V twin in 1974, and over the course of those next few decades, we begin to understand them, Ducati begins to try new setups, we start to get used to the L-Twin, you want to call it an L-Twin because it's not a V-Twin, and then Ducati is all they're known for, and suddenly, they're in MotoGP with the V4 engine? What gives? Where's the V? Now before we dive right into the V4 engine, we need to go over a few things Ducati has had to work on in order to arrive at the V engines. Ducati grew from a company making single cylinder bikes to a more refined and fully fared sport bikes manufacturer. The Italian company has done very well in competing against the Japanese manufacturers across the pond, especially in the MotoGP races. They have established themselves as one of the prestige brands of motorcycles to own, much like their parent company that manufactures exotic vehicles, Lamborghini. Did you know that Ducati was owned by Lamborghini, which is owned by VW, so I guess VW just kind of owns the world. Anyways, the fame for their engines came with the development of the Desmo Quattro engine in 1985. This engine was a multi-valve two-cylinder twin known for being desmodromic, meaning it didn't have return springs on its rockers. It wasn't new because their single-cylinder engines and twin-cylinder engines were all desmodromic as well. Okay, we're gonna sidestep and Papa Yam is gonna drop some knowledge on engine designs. All engines consist of a bottom or lower end and an upper or top end. In the top end, the valves for each cylinder are housed and for the most part the designs use valve springs. As the piston moves up or down, the valves must open, allowing either air to enter, intake, or exit exhaust from the engine. This is normally achieved by a camshaft which opens the valves by actuating the rockers. As the rockers open the valve, they push against the spring which stores energy to close them. Ducati's desmodromic engine does not have any springs, retainers, push rods, or other parts typically found in engines to open and close the valves. Instead, the engine cam lobes open to close or open the valve. This eliminates a problem in higher RPM ranges known as valve float. What's valve float, you might ask? I'm glad you asked. When a valve spring is pushed beyond its mechanical limits, it cannot extend in time for the rocker to return to the starting position, and it floats in the compressed position, leaving a missed operation in the combustion chamber for the valve. The valve will simply stay open. Doesn't sound too bad until the piston hits the valve at high RPMs and it blows your engine up. Ducati literally said, forget about it and bypassed all this high RPM nonsense and had their sweet singing L-twin engines roll without valve springs. Pretty smart. The engine design would become a part of their trademark and all Ducatis have this desmodromic system. Now, in 2003, Ducati designed and built a MotoGP bike known as the Desmo Sedici. Ducati had never raced in MotoGP, so their select team of race bike builders and riders became known as the Ducati Corsa, began and competed in the MotoGP. Their choice of an engine was something that had four strokes and would have plenty of power, torque, and be agile for racing. Their choice for an engine design was the V4. It was technically two of their now famed L-twin engines mated next to each other. When Ducati entered the MotoGP, they had a surprising season of good finishes, a few podium spots, and had proved to the world that they were race ready and capable. It wasn't until 2007 that Ducati won their first MotoGP World Championship title with rider Casey Stoner, absolute legend. Also during that year, Ducati released a production bike called the Desmo Sedici RR, RR being race replica. The bike was a 989cc V4 engine with lots of race specific parts such as the engine tune and magnesium wheels. Not like your everyday Jixxer, the Desmo Sedici RR was a pre-order only bike with a limited run of 1500 units. Beginning in the fall of 07 until the winter of 08, the bikes were produced with deliveries that started in January of 2008. So you might be wondering, what's the latest and finest Ducati of 2008 get you? Well, besides the V4 989cc engine, it had a wet weight of 425 pounds with a horsepower at 
3 and torque at 85 foot pounds of torque. Did I mention that a Ninja 300 wet weight is only 40 pounds lighter than this Ducati? The bike had an MSRP of $72,500 in the year 2008. That's roughly $86,000 in 2019 money. Brembo brakes, sponsor decals, and even Olin suspension came with this bike. Don't forget the bike cover either. It says, Ducati, I'm better than you. From 2008 to 2017, Ducati continued to produce the V4 engine in various displacements only for its Desmo Sedici race bike. During these nine years, Ducati was able to research and develop an outstanding engine that met different requirements of MotoGP. In 2011 to 2012, our lord and savior Valentino Rossi raced for Ducati. It was one of the worst times and periods of MotoGP. He didn't win any championship with Ducati and actually had a pretty rough experience with the team. In my opinion, it's the reason why Valentino never achieved the 10 times world championship title. Valley, why did you go to Ducati? Ducati continued to use the V4 for only its race bike until 2018 when the Panigale V4 finally hit the public market. Ah, so Ducati wasn't going to drop the same V4 in the Panigale as it did the Desmo Sedici. It's been roughly a decade between designs, so we can obviously expect a bit of an upgrade between the two engines. The Panigale V4 engine has an increased displacement of 1,103 cc's, horsepower output of a 211, and it put down 91 foot-pounds of torque. What Ducati did keep was the Desmodromic design, and so the engine was more reliable and revved higher than its competition. Now, going back to what we were saying earlier, the Desmo Sedici RR cost $72,500. Now, that's pretty crazy. In today's money, your top spec leader bikes cost about twenty-five dollars and have even better performance. So, as a quick side note, that's a pretty awesome mark of progress. Many insiders of Ducati say that one of the main reasons they went with this V4 design was to compete more thoroughly on the World Superbike stage and also to compete in world sales. Aprilia's RS V4 was hitting hard hard and they also upgraded the displacement to 1103 cc's recently as well so ducati really needed to start up in the game to keep up with the competition one of the things to keep in mind as well is just how glorious the ducati v4 sounds now you'll notice it sounds a little different than the aprilia rsv4 so let's do this really quick let's get a sound clip of the ducati's v4 and then we'll compare it to the aprilia rsv4 and then we'll also compare it to another v4 that you might have heard of the vfr so you get a flavor for all different v4 sounds let's take a listen <laughs> So as you can see, not all V4s are made equally. Because of the way the Ducati is built versus the Aprilia versus the Hondas, you're gonna get different V4 sounds. However, in my opinion, this is one of the absolute sweetest engine configurations and it sounds absolutely awesome. So, even though it took Ducati a bit of a while to get up to the V4 game and join the ranks of the Superbike world and get up there and really play along, many purists still think that Ducati's true Superbikes are only the twins. Things like the Panigale 1199, the 1299, and even the final edition Panigale R are in a lot of enthusiasts' opinion the absolute and true thoroughbred Ducatis. However, in my opinion, I'm glad that Ducati's venturing out and trying the new V4 format. Even though it did come as a shock to a lot of people back in 2017 when the Panigale was released as a V4, I think it's great that Ducati now has the baby brother Panigale V2 and then the upgraded options for the V4. You can also find the Panigale's V2 in other offerings as well. Things like the Ducati Multistrada 1260, the Diavo, hell, even the Scrambler uses a variant of the original Ducati L-Twin that was made all those years ago. So it's great that Ducati's keeping that relevance and history still in the game. Now, what do you guys think about Ducati's V4 offerings? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Personally, I think that in the new Ducati Panigale, they're pretty sweet. In the new V4, it looks pretty awesome as well. It's an amazing engine, and it sounds absolutely awesome. Though, personally, in my opinion, the Aprilia RS V4 is better sounding and just is absolutely glorious. As you guys know that I do love the Aprilia RS V4. 
but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Also, as I am prone to mention in every single video, please check out the links below to yamanube.co and yamanubemerch.com. We are giving away three brand spanking new motorcycles. We've got a Honda CB650R, a Ninja 400, and a Suzuki DRZ400. So whatever your flavor, if it's naked bike, small displacement sport bike, or dual sport, we got something for you. And guess what? We're giving away completely for free. If you sign up on yamanube.co, get yourself one of our tier two packages. It's 20 bucks a month. You get yourself Discord access. You can mess around with all of us on Discord. It's a lot of fun. You get 200 entries to win per month for each of the motorcycles, and you get to see those entries as well on your website. If you log into the website, you can go to your account and you can see your entries right there. So it's pretty sweet. Or if you go to yamanubemerch.com, every dollar you spend gets you an entry to win. So if you pick up one of our hoodies, it's 40 bucks. You get 40 entries to win each of the motorcycles. But I do think the best deal is to join up on the website and subscribe below. So check it out. Click the links below. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. I've noticed that we've got quite a few people who are what we call ghost subscribers. They're just hanging around and not subscribing. So hit the subscribe button. Do me a favor. Join the fun. And I'll catch you guys next time. See you later. Fact. Dachshunds are objectively the cutest breed of dogs. Don't at me. Look at my Instagram for proof. Goodbye.